Well, I went to another Dollar Tree store and I found this USB wall tap. Multiple voltage type, output 5 volt 1 amp. Imported by this Greenbrier International. I see this name on a lot of cheapo products. And it's going under this E circuit. If you remember that speaker I tore down in the other video, it's same company or same brand labeling anyway. And this also uses that black and green Radio Shack like this is a Radio Shack product here. It's not the same, but they use the same black and green coloring on their products, on some of their products anyway. Let's open this thing up and see what we get here. Ah. We get a little manual thing there. And they did have several different colors. See if I can get a close-up of that. Looks, looks like it has all the certifications. And that's a... Um, that's the efficiency... I think that marking there is. It's not real high efficiency, but... Well, this says it's 100 to 240 volts, 50, 6, 50 to 60 hertz, 5, 5 volt, 1 amp. Intertech. Well, I guess I should crack this thing open and see if I can uh, hook it up. It'll be easier to uh, try to get measurements off of it if I open it up. See what you can get for one dollar. Okay, here is the little manual. I didn't read it all, but it seems to be in pretty good English. It was easy enough to open. Just pop this back off and reveals the board. So the, the prongs here just make contact with these prongs. And surprisingly, it seems to be well done. A nice clearance space with a slot. I don't know if you can see the tiny little spikes there for the, you know, for arcing over. And that capacitor has a special wide stance and it has a bunch of certification stamps on it. Seems to have the resistors on the data lines for um, setting the current, telling the phone how much current this thing can put out. If I can get any closer or not. Actually, quite well done. Hmm. Well, got to hook it up and see how much current the thing can put out. I have the little USB power supply connected to an impromptu active load so I can adjust it and I don't have to monkey around with flipping different resistors in and out of the circuit. And I'll monitor the current with this meter. Yeah, I bought one of these Unitrend eBay meters. And I'll monitor voltage with the Rat Shack meter to power the thing so I don't have to use line voltage on the bench a ground referenced line voltage that is I use this power amplifier driven from the function generator to feed this custom wound transformer which steps up the voltage 
to 120 volts goes through a snubber network because power amplifiers don't like inductive kickback from transformers. And this night light here tells me I have 120 volts. So, so you got that thing zeroed out. Well, it jumps around a little bit, but. Okay, fired up. We've got high voltage. We have five volts coming out of that thing. So let me reach here around the high voltage and crank up some current. At some time. What's going wrong here? We got a problem, Houston. I swept the pot back and forth and I'm not getting anything. Something got screwed up here. Okay, I had a couple wires shifted one port over on the socket board and wasn't uh, conducting. Okay. 0.36 amp and it's holding. 0.6 still holding. One point one amp and it's still holding. Up oh, it just shut down. We went over current and it shut down. So let me turn it back down. Okay, it's restarted. You gotta turn this thing, it's real sensitive. I wanna see where it cuts out if I can. One amp. Voltage actually increased a little bit. Yeah, it cuts out around 1.1, 1.2 amps. So that thing actually lives up to its ratings. You know, in the past, I tested those other cheap ones, the 12 volt ones. They're rated 1 amp and they, they start dropping voltage at, uh, I can't remember, it was like half an amp or so. So this thing is actually made well and lives up to its current rating. This is a winner winner chicken dinner of a purchase. You know, I don't know the quality of the parts that they're going to hold up, but you know, just looking at the design of it, it's a very good little board. So certainly a um, recommended device. Let me see if I can get a number off of the chip. I don't know if, can you read that number? The camera get it in focus. CR5212. Well, I couldn't uh, find anything. I didn't really search very hard, but just punching that into Google, I didn't see anything. But if your research skills are better than mine, or at least you want to put more time into it, uh, let me know in the comments. But yeah, if you see this thing at the dollar store, it looks pretty good. Well, that's it. Thanks for watching.